don't really have no cheekbones and them something there so i have to create them <laughs> guys welcome back to another video i hope everyone is doing fabulous today be good be good be good so guys i just did this installation just finished doing putting on this wig and usually when i do my wig videos i will do my makeup after and show like a completed finished look use the makeup on the lace and all of that so i decided why not just record the makeup process right chill and chat little do a little makeup show you guys what i use of course i am no pro i am no makeup artist keep it very simple and do what i think works for my face until i find a different formula but the look i've been doing nowadays i kind of i'm kind of vibing with it and you guys are you know the dance of what i kill right 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 it seem like it all works so i have a little technique or steps that i use for my makeup look so that's basically what this video is going to be about today so remember like up the video share up the video guys and if you're not already subscribed please go ahead hit that subscribe button hit the bell select all notifications so whenever there's a new video you're the first to know okay so i already have on my moisturizer all of that the first thing i usually start with when doing my makeup is my my eyebrows for my eyebrows guys i use my nyx micro bro pencil and i just follow the natural shape of my eyebrow and then to get rid of any harsh lines i brush it in the reverse Alright, and trust me, I do my eyebrow like I'm still stuck in the year 2015 or 16. Um, I just use my LA Girl in Toffee and my brush and then I just clean up my brows like this. I know this way probably outdated, but this is where me do. You understand? I use a brush to kind of any harsh line especially on the top to kind of brush it out so you don't really see that line right now it's time for primer this is the elf hydrating face primer and then for me because I have dark circles I always have to I always have to conceal on my under eyes and just blend it in now it's time for me to apply foundation i use two today i'm going to use my nars this is their soft matte in the color carcass medium deep and i apply my foundation with the elf beauty blender dupe is your face your face sponge try to work very quickly with this because it is a matte foundation and you don't want it to set so I try to work very quickly and number one thing you want to do is to spend time blending out your products like even if you have to do it fast but don't skip that process I blend Next I go in with a highlighting concealer and this is Milani Conceal Plus Perfect and this is in the color 150 Natural Sand. What I use this to do now is to highlight my face. So I go under my eyes like that, probably a little bit too much but down the bridge of my nose kind of lead but that's all right here just places where you want to highlight either here and either under my chin to kind of just give my face some shape because I have a very round face you understand it don't really have no you understand don't really have no cheekbones and them somebody so I have to create them 
okay and the same sponge I just use and blend out I always start under my eyes no particular reason but that is where I start I then go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and then I use the same sponge the same sponge then I pat it because you don't want to put everything on your face kind of pat it and then press in the powder to where I want to highlight it's going to be a little bit of pressing and then a little bit of baking but it's mostly pressing. I don't contour. What I do is I use bronzer. This is the Maybelline City Bronzer, the top kind of pop off above only for bronzer leaving night so girl now go throw it out but yeah this is the maybelline city bronzer this is what i use it say it's a bronzer and contour powder so i don't have any liquid bronzer i just use this and it works fine i will probably know that sephora has a sale i may invest in a cream bronzer so if you have any recommendations comment it down below one thing I do to kind of make the bronzer, I use my Naked Last Setting Spray to spray the brush because that allow, it allow the powder to be a little bit more pigmented where you can see it a bit more. So that's what I do. And then I go in. I like more of a bronzy look so I do a lot of bronzer so as you can see the face it starts taking shape right I use one of my eyeshadow brushes I also put the bronzer around my eyes or on my eyelids so this kind of set the concealer that I put over my lids and then give me that bronzy look that I love and then what I do around where I, highlight, I highlighted my nose I am going to go and kind of cut that down a bit with the bronzer so I just come down to get it a bit more pigmented I spray it next now I begin working on my lashes all right what I want to do now is because I'm not baking I start to brush away the excess powder the translucent powder from my face under my eyes I just begin brushing that away I know what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare my eyes for lashes I'm going to be using my salon perfect pre-permed push-up lashes I got these from Walmart the lighting may be kind of not balanced just because I am not using a ring light I'm using the window so so the Sun go out and come down I saw the light go out and come down but anyway let's finish this up so I'm going to put my lashes on and come back I'm gonna do see me a tear up me yeah yeah fix it so let me go put on my lashes and I'll be right back guys I'm losing light no 
but um for me i put lash on once i put my lashes on then i kind of go in with the mascara not before but after now after lashes are applied guys it's kind of it from there just to redefine and then my blush whatever blush i'm using i just go over my eyes with it just like that then the next thing i'm going to do now is go in with this wet and wild hello halo blush lighter it's like a blush and a highlighter in one and make sure to rub both. I just go on top of it like that. Then now, just to finish up the look, I line my lips. And I think I'll just I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my blush. The blush I'm using, by the way, is I think this is from Maybelline their number five baked powder blush and my blush brush just a little because it also this is it has a little bit of highlighter to it so i don't really do a lot of this especially because i already did my highlighter a little bit on my nose over my eyebrows like that for my lip I'm going to be using my NYX Butter Gloss. I have these in so many shades, most of the darker shades. So, very, very nice. It makes my lips a bit more plump and just very, very natural and nice. Just a nice, natural lip. Now that I'm finished, I go back in with my Naked Last. I love this. I started with the small bottle and now I'm at the, the large. So guys, this is the finish to look for my little makeup video. <laughs> it's so awkward because I've never done a video like this before. But yeah, this is the makeup look. This is what I'll be wearing to finish off the hair video. And this is what the makeup looks like. Very natural, very bronzy and just a little bit of glow not too much light on the lips so hope you guys enjoyed it remember do did do like up the video share up the video guys and if you're not already subscribed please go ahead hit that subscribe button hit the bell select all notifications so the moment there is a new video you're the first to know love you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye guys